All right, let's get to it. Um, I've already moisturized with my everyday morning moisturizer, which is the Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream. I'll list that below. And let's get started. I've been playing with foundations, but the one I've used for most of the month of January is the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau. I am fully aware that it is not exactly the best color match for me anymore, but I still really like it. I think it just needs to be a little bit lighter. And I'm just gonna start grabbing at random. This is a Sedona lace brush of some sort. And uh, I just smack that on. Let's find a mirror. Aha, okay. Always better to see what you're actually doing. So I thought I would not talk so much about the products this time as, ooh, I have a really dry patch right there, is talk about life. Because even though I'm vlogging every day and you know putting up a weekly vlog, I feel like I'm not really talking to you as much as I like to. Some new products I've been using about half the month or so. Let's start with my under eye. This is the Clinique Airbrush Concealer. I have two of them. One is in Fair and it's very pink. So I layer that underneath the skin toned one. And um, I can see why Lisa Eldridge really likes these products. They are concealing and light reflecting at the same time. Here I am talking about the products. Um, you can use all kinds of things and I have used all kinds of things, but in the interest of time, I'm just using my fingers. I've used different brushes and beauty blenders and what have you, but Fingers are always handy. And then I layer, just to give me, I feel like I've been really tired. I've been running a lot, not running. I've been running around a lot, doing a lot, staying up late. So then I've been layering it with Neutral Fair, which is another one, um, which is skin toned. I don't like this any less or more than my Clarins Instant Concealer. Actually, that's not entirely true. These last longer than the Clarins Instant Concealer. Um, I still have uh, been reaching more for my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer than I thought I would. I still love my Maybelline Fit Me, but these are a little more pigmented. So as long as it's not a really dry patch of skin, I do still like the NARS. But, like this area is patchy and dry, so I'm not going to cover that area. I did a little overzealous plucking this morning, some little red there. My skin has definitely been improving, and um, that is due to uh, mostly me stopping picking at my face, which is never good, but I cannot stop myself. It is not healthy. And then I've been adding some different products to my skincare routine, and I owe you guys an updated skincare video because um, I'd like to show you what I've been up to. Um, so I've been kind of, some days I'm powdering, some days I'm not. It's raining today, so I feel like my skin needs a little extra protection. So I'm just using, um, the MAC Studio Fix Plus powder foundation. There is zero natural sunlight outside. It might as well be nighttime. It is so dreary. I always do my eyelids. Okay, now let's warm me up. Two-fold approach, the usual. Sorry, blinding you there. I thought this was gonna be used up. I bought a backup back in November during the VIB sale at Sephora and it's still you know, going strong, so not bad. Yay, Too Faced. So this month, this year, I'm trying to branch out and um, try brands, explore more brands that I haven't. Uh, obviously you're going to see, well you've seen some Clinique, yeah. And um, I'm gonna try some Tarte soon. I just wanna mix things up a little bit. There's a lot of brands out there. Um, and I need to play with all of them. And this is the RCMA Makeup, um, what is this? It's the Cream, Brush, Cream Blush Palette and there are four blushes in it, and I use, which is the one I like, the one in, oh no, there's five. The one in the middle here, which is Gina Pink. So, 
I've been using cream blush. Shocking, I know. I just take my finger. I dab, 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 dab. And then make the cheesy face. I dab, dab, dab. And then with my non-blush colored fingers, I kind of blend it in. It's very subtle. I have also been trying, not trying new, but I've revisited my Mary Luminizer. I think it's just because the days have been really gloomy that I wanted to jump, bump up my glow. I can't talk today. You'd think it's Monday. I'm actually filming this on a Friday. Although it's airing on a Monday, so it's appropriate. So I smack it on right over the cream blush. I'm living dangerously here. And a little in the middle. And across the bridge of my nose. And my cupid's bow. Whoa. Whoops. Now it looks like I have a runny nose. <laughs> okay, we'll fix that in a minute, but doesn't it? It looks like I have slime running out of my nose. Got a little crazy there. And a little bit on the chin. And now let's fix the fact that I look like a toddler. I'm just adding some powder. Let's see if that works. A better. And then, if I want a little more glow, which I really don't today, but to be fair, this is what I did all, all month, a lot of the month, is I reached for my Hourglass Ambient Palette, and it just depends on mood, and I will pick the lighter one, which is Dim Light, and just smack that all over my face. Any kind of large brush will do. And kind of like a bronzer. I know, it's a lot. It's a lot of makeup, I'm not gonna lie. But it's been fun, so there we go. Glowy, tan, not really, but you know, at least I think I look less corpse-like than usual. So I feel like the cream blush is great, but I worry that it'll fade. So I've been layering my blushes because I just need that much more makeup on my face. And so I've been reaching for another Clinique product. This is the Cheek Pop in um, Ginger Pop. And how, I mean, they're just so pretty. Look at that. And I've been working at it all month and it's the stamp, the pretty flower in it is not going away. So let me just pop a little of that pop on. Pop. Pop. You have to make that sound when you put it on. You say pop. And blend. Pop. It's just so pretty. I want to pick up a color. There's a, they have a plum that I don't have that I'm really thinking may replace, um, Narsin and might not replace it. I'll still keep Narsin, but I think I may reach for that more. And now let's do the eyes. I shall zoom in so you can see better. First thing we're gonna do is brows. And I'm going to comb these. I'm not gonna do my full on brow today. With the combing up and the combing down, I'm just going to slap on some brow pencil because I love it. My brows need some work, I think. All of a sudden, I, th I thought they were looking great, and now I'm realizing that maybe not so much. A couple of days ago, I picked up the L'Oreal Brow Plumper Brow Gel Mascara in, I assume this is blonde, or light, or something like that. Because, God forbid, they could put the name in a large, easy-to-read place. But let's just go with blonde or light or something. So. I'm uh, testing this to see if it's anything like the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's certainly a little less expensive, but hey, L'Oreal, did you forget your drugstore product? I'm gonna prime my lids with um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which has been one of several <laughs> uh, primers that I've used throughout the month. I really love my Rimmel one. I can't find it in stores anymore. I could definitely order it online, although that is getting hard to find as well, so I don't know what's going on, Rimmel. Bring it back! And now, I've been playing with a lot of eyeshadows this month, but the palette I've reached for the most is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, and a lot of you have been asking for a more natural, neutral tutorial, so I will show you what I have been doing for that. Um... I really like using this Butter Pecan shade all over my lid. I know that's it's meant as a highlight, but I like it everywhere. Because you can never have, I don't know, I like a light lid. 
I like it either really light or really dark. I'm not a big in-between kind of person. So I'm gonna slap that all over the lid. And it's funny because as soon as I tell, as soon as I decided that I preferred the semi-sweet palette to the original one, now I'm liking the original one better. I don't know. So good thing I can go back and forth. Crease color is mousse. Not like the animal, like the chocolate kind. Infinitely tastier. And just kind of slap that in the socket line. Not the, not the crease where the lid naturally creases, because that's way down here, but the socket line, which is way up there. Slightly under my enormous forehead lines. So now for the outer half, I'm gonna keep it relatively simple. I really like frosting. Very warm brown. Tap, tap. And I stamp it on the outer, you know, whatever the width of my brush is here. And then I just bring it up into the crease. Okay, with a pencil brush, I'm just gonna take that um, frosting color and run that along the outer edge. I'm trying not to poke myself in the eye, which I just did. Um, if I were going to keep true to this, I would just now put my highlight on the top, which is the coconut cream. But I'm also gonna show you how I Punch it up a little too. I just smack that all over. I like a matte skin tone brow bone highlight because not only does it kind of clean it up and brighten the eye, but I can also use it along the edges if I've gone out too far, so to speak. What is up? I don't like this side. I don't like it. I'm gonna wiggle that a little. So that's just with frosting and butter pecan. Maybe I need to brighten up my lid again. So I'm gonna go back with butter pecan and lay down some more. And now I'm down to my little nub of my favorite eyeliner. I do have a new one I really like as well, but I wanna use this one up. And it's the Rimmel Scandalize Cold Kajal Waterproof Eyeliner. If it got any longer, it wouldn't fit on the stick. And I'm not doing anything special. I'm just dragging it along the lash line here. So the mascara of choice for a while now is this Lancome Grandiose Mascara. I love this little wandy thing, of course, but uh, if that was the only thing that was great about it, I would not continue to use it. I like the formula. It gives me really big lashes. Uh, which is the whole point of mascara, I think. I'm not really certain what the point is of having natural mascara. If you want natural mascara, don't wear mascara. Like what, is, what is that? I don't get it. Someone explain it to me. General face makeup done, all that's left is the lips. I know I have just spent the last however long trying to make myself glowy, but now I'm gonna ruin it all by putting a matte setting spray all over it, matte finish. I honestly don't think it gives me a matte finish. I don't, I don't know. If it, um, there is a dewy version of this as well. As soon as I'm, I don't know. I don't know if that, I don't know if, I don't even know if this makes a difference, but I like it. If anything, it wakes me up. So there you go. So that's that. So the lip combo I have been utilizing a lot. And sometimes I, I don't think I've actually listed this in a video yet. I keep forgetting. So I start with the um, Smashbox Always Sharp or whatever it is, this lip liner. Oh yeah, it is Always Sharp lip liner in Nude Fair. I really am digging this and I want to get a bunch more. So I just line my whole skinny little lip and fill it in. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll be back. So the reason that I use a lip liner, not every day, but many days, is because it's, it's just like everything I've done with my makeup. The more layers, hopefully the longer it lasts. I'm definitely in a more is more phase of my makeup application. You know, you go through phases. And then I layer it with two more products. So this is a new product that I got this month. This is uh, a luster lipstick from MAC in Lovelorn. It's a really pretty basic pink. And I'd say it's very similar to Hug Me, but just bumped up the pink level there. I really should get a more pink tone lip liner to put under it instead of just a straight up nude. Okay, and if that was not enough, it is, but like I said, layering. This is the Christian Dior version of the YSL Glossy Lip Stain that I love. Their version is not called Glossy Lip Stain. 
Christian Dior Fluid Stick, and this is in, oh, for the love of God, what is this called? I will list, I think it's Kiss Me. I will list this in the description box, or whatever it is, that thing below me. The information bar, too. I've had a couple cups of coffee. Anyway, over the top of gauge. I will list everything that I'm wearing below. I got this, isn't that cool? Some of Somebody I know hates it, but uh, I got this at Forever 21. I don't think it's still available. It's a couple of years old, but I will look for anything similar to it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and uh, I will do my best to answer them. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bonjour mes amis, ça va? So, you may have figured out I've been learning some French the last few weeks. I can't say that I'm a fluent speaker just yet, but I am getting there.